Hello, welcome to this 3DS Max tutorial, and I'm going to be showing you how to use the Mass Effect simulation tools, well, to a basic level anyway. So, as you can see, I'm using Autodesk 3DS Max 2013, 64 bit, but you can also use the Mass Effect tools in 2012, but they didn't ship with 2011 or the previous versions. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is Alt W, maximize this viewport, and create a rectangular shaped box that don't have to be very specific or accurate because I'm just demonstrating maybe I'll make this a little smaller for R to scale it down and then Q back to selection mode now we're going to create some copies of this to create a wall out of these individual breaks so W hold down shift and drag it on the X axis to about here and we want to instance it I'm thinking about seven more Let's have a look at that. Maybe, maybe a few more than seven. How about nine, nine? Okay. So now you want to select this entire row. Let's just drag it up. Get one copy. Let's move it across. And let's copy the entire thing. And instance it about five times. So now we have a brick wall made out of 120 boxes. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is add a sphere into the scene. So you can find the spheres just here in your standard primitive. Um, not too big, about, about this size. In fact, no, a little smaller. Add to scale again, and W and then drag that back a little bring that down on the x-axis okay so now we're going to animate the sphere going through that box wall with <coughs> your basic keyframe animation first so N to turn on auto key and we'll set a keyframe at 20 and 28 so we'll just bring it through the wall right through the wall K to set that keyframe, N again, and let's just take a look, let's just press the forward slash key to <clears throat> watch the animation in real time. Okay, so you see it went for the wall very quickly, that's exactly what I wanted. We could mess with um, the curve editor and everything to get the animation looking brilliant, but I'm just going to be showing you today. Okay, <clears throat> so how this works is you have rigid bodies which can pr probably be applied through the modifier panel I'm sure they can be applied through the modifier panel yeah mass effects rigid body but a better way to apply these is by going to animation simulation mass effects utilities show tools so then you have the mass effect silver <clears throat> and you can see all the settings world settings simulation settings and here's a multi-object editor but we haven't got any rigid body selected so there's nothing showing up there at the minute and display options so if you want to display a physical message okay <clears throat> so you want to make all these boxes into dynamic rigid bodies now to do that you go to animation and simulation rigid bodies set selected as dynamic rigid body Okay, so now <clears throat> we see that these have all got the Mass Effect's rigid body modifier added to them. And <clears throat> we could also change the density of these objects and such. They're all instanced. Um, they all have the same, I think it's an instance modifier too. So we can change the density, make them more dense, less dense, change the mass, the friction. But I think we'll just leave that at 0.8 for now. Okay, in fact, there's some presets here cardboard, concrete, limestone. Let's set that to concrete. That's more like a wall. Okay, so let's just go back to these frames and select the sphere. Now, you want the sphere because the sphere flies through the wall to be a kinematic, dyna <coughs> a kinematic rigid bo body. Sorry. So, this means that it has its own keyframe animation but will react with the dynamic rigid body entities in the simulation so 
now we've set this to our <coughs> kinematic rigid body. I'll just see if there's any suitable presets. Steel through a concrete wall. That sounds about right. Now we could bake this. I'm just going to turn up the length of the animation. How about 150 frames? Okay. So now I'm going to bake this. So click bake all. And now we just wait for it to finish calculating the simulation. There we go. It's finished. You see the walls collapsing. Looks very nice. Okay. <clears throat> So, if we didn't like that, we can always select, <coughs> and you're seeing it now, how there's a keyframe on every single frame. Now, that's because it's in baits, but you can always just press Ctrl Z and undo that. But I recommend saving before and saving after you simulate it as different files. It's simpler. It'll save you a lot of headaches. Okay, so now, if we watch this, let's see how the simulations turned out. You see, because we we didn't change the friction settings really, so they like to fly away a million miles after they get contact with the ground. See that they hit the ground here, I think, and they're sliding all over the goddamn place. But anyway, you can apply textures to these just as normal. In fact, they're bouncing up because. Yeah, all these bricks have got space in between them so that they fall down and then the resultant force pushes those up. <clears throat> you see how the wall collapses. Okay, so that's how you use basic Mass Effect simulation in 3ds Max.